So I promised you guys some garage time today, some little garage therapy. I guess what I'm going to do today is take this, get it all set up for the freeze plugs. I'd like to take the valve cover off and see what I got for a valve train. So uh, let's get started. You see how long these gloves last, wouldn't they? Plug wires ripping. I don't know why they're on so tight. Well, that one came apart, naturally, why wouldn't it? See there, that thing just disintegrated. I'm not surprised. Hey, it's just more money to spend, right? Well, anyways, we can get these up and out of the way. Get this exhaust manifold off. I think I might end up painting them. I'd like to do headers, but I don't know if it's going to be in the budget this year. All these bolts, they're coming out with these. Um, I hit them all with some penetrating oil. So maybe that helps, but that joker is loose. Voila! Gasket stayed on. Looks like it's silicone to the block. I have to get a new uh, set of gaskets and scrape those off. In the meantime, <clears throat> I might end up taking these to work and sandblasting them. I think that sounds like a good idea. And then I'll throw some uh, silver paint on them. Looks like they've been beat on. Never heard of anybody beating on these for uh, clearance issues, but it's caved in right there and it doesn't. I don't know. I don't think you can beat on cast, but this thing is pretty beat up anyways. So what that did was, that's going to allow me more room to get to the freeze plug that I got to put in the bottom. So I got no freeze plug here. So I'm going to replace that. Only one bolt in the motor mount. Nice. See, I'm in pretty close quarters here. Running out of a lot of room in my garage. In the winter time, got it packed to the gills. So what is this motor? I ran some numbers on the motor. It looked like it was uh, 1969, 396, which is a big block never came in these Malibus. Um, somebody swapped it out years ago. Uh, looked like they swapped over the rear end and transmission as well. So I 
think it was a complete driveline swap. I drove the car when I bought it. <clears throat> it's always had an overheating issue, so I think I'm going to swap out the head gaskets and everything on the top end. And uh, I got a new uh, cooling fan to try. I'm going to try to retain the AFCO aluminum radiator that was in it. I don't know if it's no good or if it's good. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, I talked to some guys about having it tested and it seems like it's pretty much the cost of a new one. So I don't think I'll be having it tested. I'll just replace it if need be. Somebody put head studs in this thing. It's supposed to be uh, professionally rebuilt or built by an engine builder in the Rockford area. I don't know how true that is. I heard rumors of an expensive build sheet, but I know like when I pull this uh, valve cover off, if it's stock valve train with cast heads, they couldn't have had that much money into this motor. But we'll find out once we pop this valve cover off. Why not, right? The engine came out of the car fairly easy. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a super mechanic or anything. The way I see it, all this stuff is like a model. Take it apart one way, goes back in the reverse way. Some nylock nuts here. So sure. They're actually working. I have so many projects that I gotta get done. I haven't been out here for about, I don't know, six months or so. I get wrapped up with work, kids, household chores, YouTube channel, and I neglect, I neglect all my toys, which is kind of defeating the purpose. I guess. I need to make it out here more is basically what I'm saying. Car shows are fun to go to. Drag strips fun to go to. It's fun to video that stuff. I gotta be honest, it'd be even more fun to participate. <clears throat> I think I need to get some new valve covers just aesthetically. I don't dig this uh, stock look. It just looks like everything got spray bombed orange. I don't dig it. I think uh, some low buck aluminum fabricated style valve covers or 
I don't know. I might get a little fancy with something cast. Would look a lot better. We'll see what the budget allows. I'm a tight ass, so I probably won't allow for much. Alright, let's see what the valve train consists of. <coughs> oh, it's got some good valve springs. Stamped uh, rocker arms. I guess I could have did a lot worse. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in the camera angle, but uh, the valve springs here, they have uh, two sets of springs in them. So that's been upgraded. That's a good thing. Everything looks clean, real clean. Oh. A couple of those jokers are pretty tight. Um, we'll probably have to get in there and double check the the uh, adjust the valves on them, set the rockers. But it looks all good. Um, square square port uh, heads it looks like unless they've been machined from round ports it looks like they're square port So as you can see, that freeze plug's gone. I blew it all out, it's pretty clean. Um, some people put sealant in here, like a gasket maker or something. I heard that uh, it's not really a necessity to do. These, these brass plugs will uh, fill all that pretty well. What I have here is an Elgin made in the USA, set of freeze plugs. Uh, it's a full kit. But I don't think I'm going to have to change out the, the other ones. I wanted to get the transmission separate from the engine to make sure the freeze plugs on the back of the motor were all intact. Which they seem to be, so it looks like I only have one on this side and one on the other side. I'll get those replaced and uh, then we'll get all these top end gaskets replaced in the future, not today, but uh, that should be it and then we'll slap it back in. Uh, like I said, put on the new radiator fan, do a couple things there, see if it runs at the correct temperature. If not, we'll be working on the cooling system. So this is one of the freeze plugs in the kit. They're all numbered, uh, and it has a size there, one and three quarter, which the original one also has that stamped in there with a part number and the size. It's also one and three quarter, so we know that this is going to go in that hole. It'll be a tight fit. Uh, the sealant could act as a lubricant to get them in there easier. Um, I don't know, but I'm just going to tap these in, and uh, I got a little spacer. We'll see if that helps. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before. There are tools to help this uh, seat a little bit better and make sure you don't pound them in too far. I don't have that tool. So I think when we get close, I'm going to put this in there, tap on it, and try to get it completely seated. I'm just kind of going off of where these are. 
they look like they're more or less flush slightly slightly uh, just past flush I like it. Have to do the other side and we'll be uh, done with that part. As I was reading on the forums, a lot of guys said, uh, man, you got a 396, you should uh, sell that to a restoration guy, that whole drive line, and put a real big block in there, which I agree. I, would, I don't think I'll put any money into this 396, but uh, anyway, how cool is the 396, right? When I had it out on the road before uh, I took the motor out, it seemed like it had pretty good power. Um, uh, we'll see how it does in the car. I'm hoping for 1250s. Who knows? Last time I was down the track in a car, it was a 99 Ford Taurus grocery getter. So. Anything's got to be better than that. But ultimately, 454, 496, something along those lines would be nice. I just can't afford it right now. However, if I rid myself of my truck payment, man, that would free up so much, so much, uh, money. But the daily driver is pretty cool and it's fun to drive and we can even put it in shows sometimes. It's kind of decent like that. All right, let's see if these are going to be a pain in the ass like the other side. Good deal. Booyah. Same deal, uh, some are tighter than others, I have to go get those all uniform and within spec. Let's 
see how these come out. Looks like I have not hit them with any penetrating oil. Now sometimes when you get into these motors, you can have different valve springs, different rocker arms. People do weird things. Um, these are pretty decent. I mean, it's like there's uh, guides for the push rods. Like I said, there's head studs instead of bolts. That's nice. Somebody took the time to do the machine work. Doing things right. You don't come across that every day anymore. And who knows if I'm doing things right. Speaking of doing things right, I'm assuming I thought these just pulled out. Ugh. There we go. I knew she'd come out. Had to get that out to access this last bolt. Damn, piece of cake. So what we have here is the starter. Looks like it's going to be in the way of getting the freeze plug in. So we're going to have to pull that starter off. Which shouldn't be too bad. 916th, I believe. Nope. Oh, yeah. So let's keep those shims in there and drop around now.
mine. So there you have it, new freeze plugs, a couple of them anyways, and uh, we kind of know what we're working with with the valve train here, it looks okay I guess. I really didn't want to put aluminum heads on this thing, I really, really didn't. I couldn't justify putting that much money into that small of a big block, I'd rather just get a bigger big block. So with that said, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Peace out.